Hey everyone, welcome back to week two, video number two for our Composer's Corner with myself, Mr. A. Um, I want to know how's it going so far. Week one uh, was a lot last week, wasn't it? We were going over the title, uh, the subject, doing the melody, doing the lyrics. Um, for your song and specifically working on verse number one. So how was it? Was it overwhelming? Uh, was it easy? Uh, was it easier than you thought? Uh, was it harder than you thought? Um, I want to know uh, what your thoughts were. You can always email me at the email that I put on last week's video. Um, a M A R C H A N A Marchan at St. Mark School dot org. St. Mark School dot org. So I hope you had some luck in last week's work on verse number one. This week we are going to be working on the part of the song called the chorus. So as I mentioned this week, this will probably be the most memorable part of your whole song. These are this this is the part of the song that the listeners are going to be walking away with that gets stuck in their memory. And believe it or not, whether they like your song or they don't like your song, your chorus is going to be the most catchy part. So this is the part that they're going to remember um, the most. So I want you to think about some of the most famous songs out there. Give an example. When you go to a sports event, you've heard this song. We will, we will rock you, rock you. Correct? Now, that's the chorus of the song. How many of you can say what the verse is word for word? You probably can't, right? Uh, let's think of the song, um, What Does the Fox Say? Everybody knows the chorus. What does the fox say? And all the sounds that go along with it. But do you know the verses word for word, right? Think about the song, I Believe I Can Fly. I believe I can fly, I believe I can touch the sky, right? Our mind automatically goes to the chorus, but can you tell me word for word what the verses are? Probably not, right? So this chorus stays stuck in the mind of your listener, uh, whether they like it or not. So this chorus, you want to invest a lot of time into. This is like the foundation of your song. This The verse kind of explains the story of your song but the chorus really puts up front and it's very clear that this is what this song is about right so if you're still unsure I want you to go back and listen to some of your favorite songs and pay special attention to the chorus mm -hmm. when you do that you're gonna recognize some things you're gonna recognize a couple things that are in common with all those parts one thing is that the chorus is going to be crystal clear, right? Everyone's going to know what you're talking about. It should be to the point. It should be short and repetitive. There should be some really good rhyming words involved, very catchy and very simple. All right? So this is not the part of the song you want to get all long and drawn out and complicated. Keep it short. Keep it catchy. Keep it simple. Even repeat some things over so it gets stuck in the mind of your listener so this part of the song should definitely support your title when they hear the chorus they should say oh that makes sense why this person chose to name this song uh, this particular uh, title right so I hope that helps some um, I want you to remember to feel free to record yourself um, or having a family member record you while you're working on the song so you want to have a notepad set out as you write and as you're listening to week two, um, video number two, where all the music is going to be for the course that I'm going to play for you, just like I did for week one, video two. Have your notepad, have a pencil so you can erase. Um, have a tablet or a computer where you're playing the music. You can have another one, maybe somebody uh, take a picture of you or record you on a phone. Okay, so keep your chorus short, simple, catchy, repetitive, rhyming words. You're going to notice that the music sounds different a little bit from the verse. That's just to differentiate it from uh, verse 1. Okay, so this is the end of week uh, 2, video number 1. I want you to stay tuned for week 2, video number 2, where you're going to be putting your lyrics and the melody for those lyrics to the chorus. I'm looking forward 
to what you are going to be putting together. I believe in you. Um, have a great week, and I'll see you next week.